my time is over. Are those the words you just said to me? You brought this on yourself. You do know that, right? So I'm doing this now. No, I, I should own that I am the one who started all this. The last time Steffi came to town. So the two of you and Spencer here have been planning to take me down ever since then? No, 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 no. no, no. It was Mr. Not Forrester, like that. this was never about you. It's that you're protecting this Rick. This is not about me. It's not about me? Now, you're absolutely right. It's not. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about you. And this infantile insecurity you have about your little brother and the success he's had behind the big desk out there. I'm ashamed of you. What would your mother say about this? I think she would jump for joy. Baby sister strikes again, huh? Don't blame Nicole. You know how stubborn I can be. I, uh... You weren't even gonna tell me? Someone will see us. There's not all that much left to be curious about. Sometimes you have to step back. I understand. But you never used to hide. You've always been so proud. Your eyes would say, look all you want, world. It's your birthright. It's mine, too. Hell, it's everybody's. But it's also something worth fighting for. Please don't go. I'm the one who started all of this. I just... No, no, don't take this on. Bill Spencer did the damage, not you. I was mad at Rick. I was thinking of devastating things to say to him. But when he told me that he never wanted to break up with Maya, I mean, didn't I have to tell him where she is? If she's still there. Your sister gave me this for you. If you don't have a bank account, start one. But what is this for? To make sure you're okay. She's leaving Los Angeles. How many messages did I leave? I, I turned my phone off. It's too much press. You handed in your resignation. Do you remember that first day here? Our first day? And you thought that I was a waiter? Yes. And do you remember how upset you were when you found out I wasn't what you thought? Can't I be allowed a reaction to? Rick, it's just not the same thing. You assumed I was a woman, and I am. You're right. Probably buried somewhere in my head are these hand me down ideas of how things are supposed to be. Can you be patient with me? I may not say or, or do all the right things, but I feel the right things. You did. Until the whole world knew. Yes, I agree. Whoever wrote that headline should be fired. And we are. We are in communication with the transgender community. Or at least we should be. Oh, hi. Um, Liam's not back yet. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I thought I'd wait for him in his office. But hey, he could have a new office at Forrester. So, it's done, the takeover? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. All thanks to Guess Who's Back from Paris again. 
This, this is a pipe dream. Some kind of revenge fantasy of yours. You can't remove me. This is about ownership. I own 20%, Steffi has 25. We have Thomas's proxy for five, and Liam controls his father's 12 and a half percent. So we are revoking your power to name the next CEO of this company. The hell you are. I have the loyalty of all those employees out there. You know what they think of you? They think of you as some kind of entitled egomaniac. One word from me and they all walk. I hope the three of you can sew. You're right, Dad. The employees worship you. And if you ask them to leave, eight out of 10 would. And we would replace them. This is getting too hypothetical. And this is really how you want to reward them for their loyalty? You want to leave them jobless? No, no, no. No one is walking out. This doesn't have to be a catastrophe or some big change. Rick is out, and that's all. Rick's contract is ironclad. Yes, it is. Except for one thing. A morality clause. What about your morality? Granddad, I know you're going to be angry with us for a while, all right? You know, it just occurred to me. I wish you were more like your mother. I don't want money. I want my sister. This has got nothing to do with me, Nicole. We have to tell Maya not to leave. Either she already left or Rick's with her. If he can't change your mind, you and I can't. I'm going to be real honest with you, and it's probably going to come out badly. I'm not policing you. The same thing that happens to you happened to me. You said that you were afraid that I would think about you differently. When people find out that I'm trans, they get this look. They stop looking me in my eyes. See, the same thing happened to me when I found out what Spencer had done and that everybody knew and they were thinking about it and they were talking about us and our bodies and all our most intimate moments. And Maya, it made me scared. It's demeaning. Is that why it took you so long? That you didn't want me looking at you that way? It doesn't matter. I owed it to you anyway. Yeah. I think you did. You know, Rick, when... When I moved to L.A., everyone knew all of the basic facts about me. And then when Daisy left, almost no one knew. And no one asked any questions, and I thought it was a good thing. And then I fell in love. You no, know, there's, there's no rule book that tells you when you're supposed to say things and how much. And I just didn't see how much I was cutting myself off from you and how I couldn't tell you about my childhood and my teenage years and the time I climbed up onto the railing of a bridge and it took a long time to come down. You see, I don't know these things. I don't like feeling cheated. We, we can keep in touch if that's something you'd like. Maya? Maya, why do you think I'm here? I don't know, closure? I never heard the question. When you were on the phone and you were leaving Big Bear, you asked me something. What was that? If you still... If you still love me, if you wanted to marry me. You see, I never heard that. My car went off the road. I got, I got pretty banged up. I, what? I, I thought... Do you want to ask me again? I don't think Eric knows what's going on yet. That's my boy. But Liam better get something in writing. And when Ridge actually makes a decision, it always has a short shelf life. Now, I'm assuming that Steffi dropped a certain precondition, or we wouldn't be hearing about this from you. Well, as far as I know, it was just a, a change of strategy. 
Don't let Steffi worry you. Everyone knows how she operates. Yeah, but I don't think she does. I mean, in her mind, she's just on the up and up. You know, blazingly honest and all that. So Rick finally learned that he can't treat a niece of mine like garbage. When are you going to stop using Caroline to justify what you did to Maya? That head case? She's a fraud. Me? What you see is what you get. We can finish this conversation later. I think any conversation that you and your father want to have with me is pretty much over. Mr. Forrester, if I'm not mistaken, everyone here tried to tell you how bad things were under Rick, and you didn't believe them. I'm disappointed in you. No surprise here. Enough. Stop. That's enough. Call it karma, call it whatever you will. But any road that you took, any decision that you made about Rick, all led you to right hold, hold, here. Hold on a second. Th wait, this is not okay. retreating. OK, I, I can't take this battle of male egos, all right? Nobody died. I suppose you want me to clear out my office. You don't have an office. You gave it to Rick. And as long as I have breath in my body, he's going to keep it. No, I'm sorry. That experiment is over. Thought that no, 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 I, I get it. And maybe you think that the future doesn't hold anything good for you. But we're gonna have to unconvince you of that. Don't leave. It could be work. No, you know what? Work can wait. They'll just call you back. Dad? Well, Ridge has done it. Or at least he thinks he has. Done what? He found a way to get you out of the company, and me too. Ridge is obviously bluffing. Where are you? I'm in the CEO office, with the doors locked. I'll be there as soon as I can. What about Ridge? Apparently he's come up with some way to fire my dad and replace me. You can't let him do that. You've worked too hard for this. Yeah, we're not finished here. <laughs> I'm fine. You go. This is more than a job. I know how much this means to you. So you go back there, and you do whatever you have to do to stop Ridge. You promise me that you'll still be here. I'll take my pack, and I'll go upstairs. And I'll wait to hear from you. You take care of business first. I'm not going anywhere. And to answer that question, the one that I didn't hear, I love you, Maya. Well, that wasn't easy. You thought it was going to be easy? I feel for Granddad. But he has to realize this isn't about him, this is about Rick. Ah, it goes further back than that. You mean Brooke? Mom? Yeah, I think that had something to do with it. But it goes further back than that. All the way to my mom. And who she loved most. That question was always around, but never asked around the dinner table. It was always there. But my mom, she knew something that dad and I did not. That I was her biological son, but not his. And that colored everything. The way she treated us, the way we treated each other. And you know what, Steph? Looking back, I, I think my dad and I, we never had a chance. Well, if you're not his son, I'm not his granddaughter. I suppose we're disowned after today.
Rich is probably having Carter draw it up as we speak. Rich controls the legal department through him. Still, we'll have to have a formal meeting. All the shareholders represented, voting on the record. I mean, we have till then. What difference would it make? They have the votes. Thomas is irrelevant. His holdings aren't enough for Ridge and Steffi to take controlling interest. Why was Liam there? What, Bill couldn't make uh, time in his busy schedule? Ridge isn't gonna want to do business with Bill. They hate each other. So what, what Liam bought all his dad's shares? Where'd he get that kind of cash? I don't know, I didn't ask. I doubt it was an outright purchase. Now, Bill likes having his foot in the door here. He wouldn't just give that away. What? What are you thinking? There we go. So how'd Eric take it? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it was it was bad. Yeah, well, look it over it. You're a genius. Yeah. yeah well, I'm also vice president, or I or I will be with official. How how are we gonna deal with that? Listen, what you can't cover, Katie will handle. She loves being overworked. To you, Rick is out. You accomplished what the rest of us could not. Uh, including you outing Maya, by the way. Hmm. Well, that gave it a little nudge. And listen, when you publish the truth, there's always a certain amount of outrage. It goes with the territory. Uh, speaking of outrage, Ivy was here. Oh, God. I gotta have a conversation with her now that Steffi's back. But you know what? You know, I did it. I told her I would get her and Caroline out of harm's way, out of Rick's way, and, and I did it. Feels good, doesn't it? Winning and winning big. Yeah, it kind of does. There may be hope for you yet. <laughs> you see, look here, Dad. There's been no sales. Now, if certificates changed hands, we would be seeing Liam's name on it. And it still has bills. I knew he wouldn't give up those shares out of the kindness of his heart. You know what he's doing? He's laying low because he knows that Ridge won't play if he's on his team. And Ridge is so darn arrogant, he didn't even bother double checking. You can't be thinking what I think you are. Well, what other choice do we have but to suck it up and negotiate with Bill, not to vote with Ridge? What? You're next. Next CEO of Forrester. I am. Assuming you will ever give me the reins. I will. Not gonna do what my dad did. You know, throw himself a retirement party and then show up for work the next day. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. This is it. It's our legacy. Yours tomorrow. Mine today. Finally.